Johnny Cage's fastest normal is a 7 frame stand 1, which seems to be about the norm. His fastest comboable mid or low attacks are his 14 frame back 2, and his 14 frame towards 4, which are both mids. His fastest low starter is an 18 frame back 3. His best mid range punish seems to be that towards 4, but the strings out of it don't seem too ideal to me compared to his other starters. His towards 3 is a high with about the same range and speed, but leads to higher damage combos. Back 2 launches the opponent. It's minus 14 on block, so it seems like a mid combo tool rather than a starter. Stand 4 does cancel, but it knocks down, which I think will inhibit it from being a good combo starter outside the corner. One two is zero on block and leaves them close. One two four is plus six on block and leaves them further away. The last hit is a high, but if you block the middle hit, it seems you can't neutral duck the third hit. On block, you can complete the string or not, but you can easily confirm the two into a special on hit either way. One two one is the other ender for this string. It's pretty minus, but it's a three hit sequence that cancels even on the third hit. And it juggles really well, too. This seems useful for his combos, especially since it starts from such a fast normal. 2-4-4 four, four is a high into double mid kick. It's impossible to do two hits of this string due to the way it buffers, but three hits is still safe. You can complete the string with up plus four. But then it's unsafe, and if you're confirming, you'd rather just go into a special, since it leads to better setups and usually more damage. Towards 2-1 is a string from his Towards 2, which is just a bit slower and longer range than his other standing punches. It's minus 5 on block, and completing the string with Towards 2-1-2 makes it minus 3. This is a fine confirm, especially because it offers a middle ground between range and speed, and it's ridiculously easy to juggle compared to his other strings. But it's usually unoptimal. His 3-4 string also starts from an 11 frame high. It's only minus 1 on block, but it does really good damage for a cancelable 2 hit string. And the hitboxes are very high up, which makes me think it'll be nice for picking up combos after air to airs. You can end the string with either up plus 3, which is a high damage plus on block jump kick, or down plus 3, which is a sweep. The jump kick is a true string and can't be reversaled, and it does more damage than any non EX special, so it might be good, but the sweep is unsafe. Towards 344 four seems to be Johnny's main confirming string. It's only minus 2 on block, and it's 4 hits, so it does good chip while giving him lots of time to confirm. The triple kick part of this string seems to be completely identical to his 244 four sequence, so starting with 2 gives you better speed while starting with towards 3 gives you better range and damage. Back 3-4 is a double low sequence. It's pretty minus, and completing the string gives you a high damage backflip that makes it very minus. As usual, I think you'd rather convert into a special move if you could help it. Towards 4-3 is a knee into jumping kick string. It's a bit too slow for juggling, but it is plus on block. If only the jumping kick connects, it gives you a crushing blow for massive damage. And since it's plus on block, I guess you can deliberately use the string and whiff the first hit to advance. The trick is that it's very reactable, and unsafe if they flawless block it. But if they mistime the flawless block, they eat a crushing blow. So it's sort of a trap for people who want to parry it but fail. Either way, it's very slow, so they could probably just counter hit it with a jab regardless. Finally, towards 4-4 four four is a double kick string that's slightly minus but offers no combo ability. It might be good for picking up certain juggles or getting really distant ranged punishes, but I can't see much else. I can't help but notice that Johnny Cage doesn't seem to have an overhead absolutely anywhere in his kit, so make sure to remember the two universal overheads. Your grounded cancels from weakest to strongest are 1 2, towards 2 1, and back 3 4, 2 4 4, 
three four, and finally towards three four four. You also have one two one, but since it knocks down, it's more suited to ending combos than starting them. Back towards two is Johnny's fireball. It starts very quickly, juggles easily, recovers a bit slowly, and can be ducked. It's one of the most standard Mortal Kombat fireballs imaginable. Enhancing it throws a second fireball, also high. But unlike the first one, this one's safe on block. But again, both can be ducked. If you juggle into the enhanced fireball in the corner, it does recover fast enough for Johnny to pick up a combo. This is a very strong launcher. Down back 3 is Johnny's flip kick. It's probably not a bad anti-air, but you can get the job done with back 2 or down 2 as well. It seems fine for ending combos, but it's very unsafe on block. Enhancing it just increases the damage. Back towards 4 is Shadow Kick. It's Johnny's highest damage special move ender, and it's more reliable at picking up long range combos than his other specials, so you'll probably usually go into it. Johnny's Fatal Blow is extremely unique. Not only does it have good range and a hit of armor like most Fatal Blows, but he can delay it and also dash cancel it. In grounded combos, this allows him to easily extend and link his strings. And he also gets new juggles. Whenever you do this cancel, it counts as whiffing a Fatal Blow. So you have to wait about 10 seconds to be able to do it again. The Shock Jock variation has Johnny's signature nut punch, back down 3. This is actually a universal special move for him, but as of right now only this variation can do it, since his other variation replaces it. Even in juggles, it leaves the opponent standing but uncomboable. So ending combos with it denies wake up attacks and guarantees a block string or reset. If you enhance it, it launches. This seems to be Johnny's main way to extend combos, and his goal in the match is to land it. Unfortunately, it throws the opponent really far out, so picking up combos is tricky. You can technically juggle into it multiple times. But it's got such a small hitbox in juggles, you need a lot of gravity to combo into it, and by then the relaunch isn't useful. So you'd probably go into Enhanced Fireball or something for a 2-bar combo. If Raw Enhanced Nut Punch is a punish or the first attack of the match, it does a crushing blow for higher damage. It doesn't launch as far out, so you get slightly better conversions. Downback 1 is a counter called Mime Time. Johnny will parry highs and throws, but not mids, lows, or fireballs. Highlight. The opponent can also simply wait it out and punish the recovery. But if he enhances it, it lasts significantly longer, so people trying to punish the recovery might find themselves countered. After landing the counter, Johnny can enhance to allow for a juggle. This adds a ton of damage, and the counter doesn't exactly land easily, so you might as well take it every time. The second time you land an extended duration mime time, or if mime time is the first thing either player lands in the match, you get a crushing blow. The follow-ups are identical, but the damage is way higher. Down Down 2 is a self buff called Brass Knuckles. Johnny's damage doesn't change, but his chip damage on block for all attacks is doubled, including his kicks. Shock Jock also has a move called Caged Rage, down back 4. The damage isn't fantastic and it's very slow, but it has a really interesting gimmick. If it's blocked, the next time you use it, it will do more damage. And if this powered up version is blocked, then the next time you use it, it's unblockable and much stronger. If you whiff one of the powered up versions, or if any version hits, you get reset back to level 1.
enhancing it adds a backflip. You're usually not trying to combo into this move, but if you've got the unblockable stocked, this is the highest damage you can get out of it. Johnny's other variation is called Showstopper. Rather than his nut punch, Johnny Cage pulls out a camera and takes a picture of the opponent, blinding them. It leaves them reeling on the ground the same way nut punch does, though it's much slower and thus more impractical in juggles. But unlike Nut Punch, the enhanced version leaves them comboable and grounded. This denies them the ability to break out of the combo. If you've whiffed three normal or enhanced camera shots so far in the match, then land an enhanced camera shot, or if enhanced camera shot is the first thing you land in the match, you get a crushing blow. It does significantly more damage, but seems to allow for the same amount of time for combos. Enhanced Camera won't reground the opponent. And you can't use two Enhanced Camera shots in the same combo. Down Down 2 will have Johnny throw his sunglasses. This seems to be a gimmick projectile. It's hard to juggle into, not rewarding to combo into, ridiculously unsafe on block, and doesn't have very much range at all. It won't even finish its own arc. But if it's the first hit of the match, or if you combo into it from a string that previously had a Fatal Blow dash cancel in it, you get a crushing blow for massive damage. As long as they're in the same combo, they can be pretty far apart. Here are my sample B&Bs. You can find notes in the description of this video.